everybody and welcome to the Art Gallery of Algoma's Summer Art Series. My name's Audrey and today I'll be showing you how to create a little pineapple out of felt. So without further ado, let's get into it. The things you'll need in order to create your pineapple will be some felt, today I'll be using yellow, green, and black, a pair of fabric scissors, some embroidery floss, the kind that I'm using is DMC floss which is great for separating so that you can work with fewer strands, today we'll be using a tan color, green and black. You'll also need a pencil, a needle, I'd suggest one with a bigger eye so that it's easier to thread your embroidery floss through it, and some polyfill to stuff your creation. Using our pencil, the first thing we're going to do is draw a teardrop shape on our yellow felt. The size that you make this will depend on how big you want to make your pineapple. Now, cut that shape out with your fabric scissors. Next, place the teardrop shape you just cut out onto your yellow felt and trace around it to create the exact same shape. Cut that out as well. You should now have two identical yellow shapes. Now we'll cut off a strand of our tan embroidery floss. The DMC floss I'm working with is made up of six strands, but we're going to separate it so that we're only working with three strands for this entire project. This will make our stitch a bit thinner. Tie your floss into a knot at one end and trim off the excess with your scissors. Thread the other end through your needle. Now, bring your needle up from the back of your teardrop shape at the top. It should come up just a little ways from the left edge of your felt. Bring your floss back down just a little ways from the right edge and ensure that the line you just created is on a diagonal. Leave a bit of space underneath this line and make another one by bringing your needle back up at the left side and back down at the right, creating another diagonal line that's parallel to your previous one. It may be helpful to mark off the spot that you're going to bring the needle through with a pencil. Continue on with this process until you've created diagonal lines all across your yellow teardrop shape. When you're finished, flip over your felt and tuck your floss underneath the felt to secure it, ensuring that the floss has not poked through to the other side. Then cut off the excess. Now we'll go back in, making lines the opposite way so that they overlap and crisscross the ones that we just made. Try to make each of these lines about the same distance apart and parallel to each other. Again, you can make marks with a pencil to make it more precise, or simply lay down your needle to get an idea of how the line should slant. Once you've made crisscrossing lines on your whole yellow shape, flip it over, tuck your thread underneath the felt so that it doesn't poke through to the other side, and snip off the excess. Now we'll make a cute face for our pineapple. Begin by cutting a very small circle out of your black felt to make the first eye. You can start by cutting it a little bigger than your desired size, and then trim it down and round it out with your fabric scissors. We'll now place the circle that we just cut out onto our black felt and cut around it to make another circle that's the same size. Clean up the edges if necessary and place the eyes where you want them to go on your pineapple. Cut off a piece of your black embroidery floss. Again, we'll separate it so that we're only working with three strands. Use your thumb to hold down the first eye. As you're holding it in place, bring your needle up through the back of the pineapple and the eye and pull the floss through. Then bring your floss back down through the eye and pull it tight. Do this once again, bringing your embroidery floss up and then back down through the eye to secure it. Flip it over, tie off your thread, and trim off the excess. Follow the same process to secure your second eye and tie it off just as we did before. Now we'll make one stitch to create a mouth. Between the eyes, make this stitch by coming up where you want the left corner of the mouth to be and pulling your floss back down through the felt where you want the right corner of your mouth to be. Then tie it off and trim it at the back. Now we'll make the crown of our pineapple. Take your green felt and place it at the top of the yellow piece so that you can get an idea of how wide the crown needs to be in order to fit it properly. Use your pencil to draw it out on your felt. For mine, I drew four long curved points. Cut the crown out with your scissors. Once you've cut it out, place it on top of your green felt, trace around it with your pencil, and cut that out as well. Your two crown shapes should now look the exact same. Now that we've got all of our pieces ready, let's stitch them together. We'll start by stitching our two yellow sections together. Place the piece with the face on it on top of the plain one. Then bring your tan embroidery floss up through the first layer only, near the top of the teardrop shape. This will help to hide the knot inside. Then, bring the floss back down through both layers a little ways away and pull it tight. Leave a little space and come back up through both layers with your floss and then pull it down a little ways away. Continue this process to stitch around the edge of your yellow pieces, but don't sew them completely shut just yet. 
you'll want to leave about a finger width gap at the top of your pineapple. Stuff this hole with a bit of polyfill, pushing it in with your finger and fill it until it's puffy. Then continue stitching around the edge until you've stitched the hole completely shut to prevent any of the stuffing from coming out. When you're finished, loop the floss underneath your felt a few times at the back and trim off the excess. Now we'll sandwich our yellow pieces in between the green. To do this, place one of your green pieces behind the yellow ones and one on top, making sure that they are both flipped the right way so that they're aligned. Using three strands of our green embroidery floss, we'll come up from the back of the green piece on the front at the corner. We'll once again be hiding the knot just like we did with the yellow part. Then bring your floss back down through all of the layers and pull it tight to secure it. Continue stitching around the edges of your green crown holding the felt in place with your fingers so that the two pieces stay aligned and don't shift. Once again, before you seal it completely shut, stuff a bit of polyfill into the crown. Then, finish off your stitching so that everything stays in place and turn it over to secure your floss. Use your scissors to trim off any excess felt around the edges or to round things out a bit. And there we have it! Now that you've learned this basic stitching process, you can use it to make all sorts of cute, colorful, and summery felt creations. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and follow the Art Gallery of Algoma on social media if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching!